guitarists and welcome to Coda Guitar. Uh, this is a level one lesson on legato. Uh, that is just a posh musical term for hammer-ons and pull-offs, um, just smooth sounding notes that we create uh, with our left hand or our fretting hand. Um, so uh, often you'll pluck a note to start with and then you create another note by either tapping on um, with another finger called a hammer-on or the opposite you pluck um, a note on a higher fret and you pull off to a lower fret or the open strings. Um, now there's a beginner level lesson on legato um, which actually looks at hammering on and pulling off using the open strings and fretted notes further down here. Um, so if you've not come across this before you can have a look at that by all means. Free lesson um, on the uh, beginner songs, uh, beginner lessons page of the website. But uh, we're going to be looking at fretting um, using just fretted notes because um, it's quite good um, for your hand position and uh, we're going to start using our little finger as well. So, um, I'm just going to show you this very quickly, have a go, and um, we'll talk a little bit about um, ways to make it more comfortable uh, afterwards. So, uh, finger one, fret five on the top string, we'll start on string one. Finger two, fret six, finger three, fret seven, finger four, fret eight. This is actually the same hand position as the uh, free level one lesson uh, fretting riffs, which was looking at what we call the chromatic scale. Um, we're going to start off with this and we're going to look at using the pentatonic scale afterwards in a minute. Uh, so with this one, I'm going to pluck fret five, finger one. I'm going to hammer on onto fret six with finger two and then I'm going to pluck that note again and I'm going to hammer on onto fret seven uh, with finger three and then finally hammer on onto fret eight with finger four. And then the reverse of that, pull off. Okay, so a couple of things here. Um, if you just want to pause this and have a go at that, see how you find it to start with. Um, you might find it a little bit tricky, um, particularly if you've not tried um, using hammer-ons and pull-offs just with fretted notes. It's, it's a bit awkward with your hand position. Um, so <coughs> it's definitely worthwhile making sure you've viewed the level one lesson on fretting riffs because this will help you with a good hand position. So um, if you can, leave all of your fingers on. So I'm not taking fingers one, two or three off when I hammer on, keeping them on. If that's a bit difficult, it's okay. You can take them off if you're struggling to keep them all down. Uh, the only thing is when you pull off, you need to basically have the note be, um, the, the note lower, one lower than the one you're pulling off from. So in this case, fret eight, fret 7 needs to be fretted before you pull off otherwise it just goes to the open string. So either way keep your fingers on or replace that's fine. Either's fine. Um, the main thing is uh, it sounds smooth, um, but it's really important to try and uh, what we say retain the volume, keep the same volume because if you're a little bit too soft um, it's just not quite, it's not quite ringing through enough there. So um, it's important to use a positive tap, quite a quick tap with a pull uh, hammer on. Um, doesn't mean, to, I don't mean a quick tap as in as soon as you plucked it. Um, it's, I mean when you move, when you actually move your hand, um, you make a fast, brisk, positive motion. Um, shouldn't need to be feeling like you're putting too much effort in, but uh, just quick motion. Um, a pull off is a flick. You actually get on top of the string a little bit and you pull it down. Excuse me. Um, so again, you uh, retain the volume um, by by flicking it. It's almost like you're plucking the string with your left hand, really. Um, but uh, again, there's a free beginner lesson but going into this in a bit more detail. Um, so. Uh, have a go at that on string one. That's the easiest string, so get used to that first. And then we're literally just going to... Play it over all six strings. Um, 
so I would go, uh, that was a little bit quick, sorry. Um, uh, I've practiced it, so I'm allowed to do that. Um, you wanna go really slowly uh, and try and make it sound musical. Um, don't sort of push down too hard, don't be too tense. Uh, keep your fingers quite flat. Remember with your fretting hand position, these two are flatter than these two, okay? Um, it's just the way your fingers sort of um, separate out. Um, but make it sound smooth. Check where my thumb is. Um, don't want to be playing like this because it's an absolute mm. nightmare when you get onto the bottom string and it's a bit tricky there as well. You always want to be as relaxed as you possibly can be when you're playing. Um, but there is just a little chromatic exercise there. Okay, just a good warm up.